Hi guys, Philip Ings from RoboPhil.com and today we're seeing the V22 Ergo Skeleton in action. The human body isn't designed to endure the physical tolls of unnatural postures and repetitive motions of the workforce. So the painted in Ergo Skeleton is a wearable self-powered lifting device that combines the core principles of ergonomics and exoskeletons. The Ergo Skeleton products are aimed to improve human productivity, health and wellness during active work. Ergonomics is the study of people's efficiency in their working environment, and Exoskeleton is an external skeleton that provides support for the body. Hence the name Ergo Skeleton. So first off, once you've done the straps up, uh, my one's slightly higher because I've got my sound equipment on, but uh, to do up the, uh, the main straps, uh, you lean to the right and you tighten it up and then you lean to the left and you tighten that one up and I can feel the posture pads on my back already not not pushing into me but I can feel it there next we're having a look at the hand effectors so these are devices which basically give you a hand uh, for lifting up uh, the boxes or whatever you may be lifting my one is slightly twisted because I've been using it for a little while but uh, I'm just going to carry on anyway ideally you want to get that little twist out so it's a nice uh, a nice line on there. Same for the other one. Uh, I've got this one on backwards. There we go. So these are the hand effectors and uh, what you have is the clutch here. So when you're lifting up a package it, it clutches onto the device there. So I've got a box down here. Let's uh, pick it up. Okay. So here's my box. So the idea is, is that you use this device you picked up your box. When you uh, place uh, the hand effector onto the box and push down, that's what engages the clutch. So the strings actually stop working at that point. At this point, then you can bend up the box with the strings. So if I, if I have it off, let's see if I can do a good example. There we go. So as you can see, now I've locked it in, the box is locked with me. And what it enables you to do is when it's locked with you, instead of pulling with your arms, you can literally pull back with your back and legs. And that's how, again, this device is supposed to work. So instead of forcing it up and all the pressure on goes on your back, with the strings, it, it basically allows the pressure to go through the device onto your back through, and then through onto your legs. And that's the whole idea of this device. So the device is used for lifting items below shoulder height and they must have some hard edge for the hand effectors to be active. So again, the hand clutch actually has to have to be pressed for it to lock off the, uh, the, the actual cords. The device is self-powered and does not give you extra strength, but to increase your safety when you're lifting. So when lifting up an object, it is for the user to find the best balance of the item so they can grip it accordingly. There are many different grips you can use, the first one being the even grip, which is simply a straightforward grip, like so. Box is straight and uh, my arms are straight and basically I'm gripping the box within the middle and all the weights down there. You can also use a staggered grip by lifting one hand closest to your body and the other hand on the further away corner. So, like so. Again, locking the cords off to each each individual one, so this cord is going to be slightly longer this time, where this one's slightly shorter. But again, I've got the same lock there, so and that's what you're looking for. So you can lean back and, and put the actual weight through your back and through to your legs, where it should be in a safe way. The other grip you can use is the over-under grip, which is when one hand is taking most of the weight, so, so the right hand, and the other hand is on top of the opposite top corner for stabilisation. So, like so. Again, the cord will be short down here and long here. Most of the weight is going through my, uh, my hand at the bottom. When you engage the clutch, make sure the elbows are bent at 90 degrees and extend your arms wide to accommodate the cords. So when I'm picking this box up, I, wanna, I want to reach wider out than I normally would so I can extend the cords and the cords wrap around the actual box. Again, activate the clutch by pressing down on the clutch. That locks out the cord and you will feel the transfer of the load onto the device. Check the cords are not twisted when they're put back. So if I throw my box down here and I carefully put these back, what I should be doing is just being a little bit cautious, or careful I should say, and just making sure they're twisted rightly just so it fits in 
snugly. Like so. Thanks guys, if you want to learn more technical details about the V22 Argo Skeleton, then please check out my next video. For more information, head over to the website we've created specifically for the product using the address on the right. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and head over to robofield.com for the latest news and reviews in robotics. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.